Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the channel. Now for today's video we're going to be renovating the Nook Stone house in Oasis Springs. Now I think this is this began as a starter build that EA did and it's it was really small, one bedroom, one bathroom and the bedroom wasn't even closed off. It was more of a I don't know, a loft style type of house, but I went in and I expanded it just a little bit to the back and I added in a second bedroom as well so this house I thought it might be for some for a for parents and the teenager I don't know might might be a teenage boy or a girl or even maybe a single parent with a teenager I didn't really have any sims in mind when I bought this but yeah now you'll have seen that I did cut out doing the flooring and the wallpaper since I was really indecisive about this at first I didn't know if I wanted to make it more traditional or more modern and if I wanted to I wanted to start making it a bit more neutral with some warm browns and you know browns and woods and stuff but I ended up going for this very very white modern blue type of feel for the house and I did end up going with a very mid-century you know vibe to the house I ended up using a lot of mid-century style furniture from the bowling from the bowling night stuff back and yeah at the end of the at the end of this renovation the house ended up being I think about 40 um, 64,000 simoleons yeah so it was 60 63,176 simoleons to be exact and I think that is with the lot included, but I'm not really sure. I checked in build mode in the little information tab, so I can't really remember if it was the same on the gallery and if it's a bit more expensive when you take into account the lot. But yeah, that's the price of the house anyway. So yeah, and it is still really small since it is on a 20 by 15 lot and there's not really a lot of room for a yard. But I didn't end up giving them a bit of a backyard. Now, I just noticed that I missed a few um, random pauses in this build. Now, I can't really remember what I was doing when I built this. Since I built this about two, two and a half weeks ago. But since there's quite a few pauses in this that I've missed. Um, that I've missed in editing. Um, I was probably watching either watching a stream or some YouTube videos or I was most likely talking to my mom or my sister or something like that so that's why there are a few pauses that I missed since yeah I might have been watching a stream I think but yeah never mind that so yeah I, I, I apologize if there are some you know awkward pauses where I'm just doing nothing and I missed cutting that out. I did try and get everyone but every you know awkward pause to cut it out but I must have missed some. And yeah I hope you guys like this build. I don't know I was just in a really creative mood that night and I don't know I just went into the game and just picked a random lot. I didn't even know what I was going to do. I didn't have a family in mind. I didn't you know need the build for something or you know even plan on doing a sort of renovation type thing I mean this isn't for my rebuilding um, rebuilding Oasis Springs project so I don't know I just went in and started randomly building and in the end I actually really loved how this house turned out how the renovation turned out and I can definitely see myself using this since it's not so small that it feels cramped and it's not too big that you know, I, I sometimes find playing in big houses, it can get quite annoying since your sims take forever to get somewhere and, you know, sometimes I, I like keeping an eye on all of my sims. I like being able to see them at all times and being able to micromanage everything that they do. So to have a really large house is quite annoying for me sometimes when I play since, you know, you can't really see what everyone is up to but in some in a smaller house I tend to you know really like playing with them especially if I want to 
you know, focus on my sims or I have a storyline in mind and I want to be in charge of what they do with their days. But yeah, I don't know if that's just me. I know quite a few um, other simmers that I know prefer playing in one story, in one story houses at the very least because it's really annoying having to continually page up and down to get to different floors if you want to view different sims. And since I've just started um, the 100 baby challenge, I definitely know that I'm going to try and avoid more than one story houses at all costs in that challenge. I've played it a few times before and whenever I've had a double story house it is very very irritating especially when you have especially since they've brought in toddlers into the sims 4 last year and you know toddlers can't go up and down stairs and they, unless they have a high enough motor skill and to teach them that so just so that they can get downstairs to grab food is basically just a nightmare so I'm going to try and avoid double story houses but yeah, as I said, I don't know if you guys saw on Monday, I posted a creator sim and the first part of my 100 baby challenge. I posted a creator sim of creating my founder and then the first part. So yeah, that's a challenge. That's actually my first challenge, you know, let's play challenge on the channel. So do go give it a look if you guys want to, if you're interested in let's plays at all. I know everyone and their mother has done the 100 baby challenge at some point. And I know it's quite an old challenge, but it's always fun to do. I don't know, I always enjoy it. It can get quite repetitive. So that's why I might, you know, take a break after the first, the first generation, after the first, you know, the first mother. I might take a break for just one or two weeks before I start with the air or something like that. But yeah, that depends on if you guys actually like the challenge, because if you don't like it, then I'm probably not going to continue it. I will then probably, you know, start a different challenge or, yeah, start a different Let's Play or whatever. But if you guys have any other ideas for challenges that you'd like to see me do, I might not start them immediately, but I will, I have a book next to me that, my journal that I write in all of my, you know, video ideas or stuff like that. So if you have any challenges that you'd like to see me do or, you know, that you've done that you find really fun, just leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to have a look at it. And, you know, I love finding new Sims challenges to do, even if I just do them in my free time. I love doing that. And also, if you guys have any bold ideas or apartment ideas or, you know, backstories for families that you'd like to see me try and create, or leave all of those comments in the leave all of those ideas in the comments down below if you want to I always love reading your guys' comments they always make my day even if I just get one it always makes my day to see that some that someone out there actually enjoyed my build or my creator sim or whatever so yeah now we're just working on the teenagers room I wanted to make this a child's bedroom but I didn't want I didn't end up doing that and I thought it might be more for a teen since I didn't add in any you know toys or stuff like that and yeah the majority of this build and the reason why it's rather long for the size of the house is the fact that I did you know just I don't know what you just pan around and jump from one room to the next just adding extra little details or you know, something that I found in the catalog, but I thought it would look better in another room, so I just jumped quickly to that room and added it, and I really added quite a bit of detail to this. I paid quite a bit of attention to what I was doing, since I was enjoying myself a lot when I was building this. And, um, oh yeah, I added in a few accent walls in on the inside, because I thought it was looking a bit too white, the walls. And I didn't want to, I don't think I ended up adding any blue walls but I did add in some of those bowling night stuff um, you know I don't know what you would call it wooden siding but it's not straight it's more like uh, oh I don't know what you would call it but the wooden siding from bowling night stuff I ended up adding that in in a brown since I thought it tied in nicely with you know the brown accents in the table and it gave the whole place a bit more of a warm feel to it since I didn't want it to be a cold build and yeah right now we're just working on the outside of the build 
as you see I did give them a bit of a backyard I fenced it off and I just added a grill and some seating and you know a table and I did end up giving them a little small pool in the backyard so it's it's not really a very it's not a big pool it's more of just a lap pool but yeah I really liked how that looked and I ended up doing quite a bit of landscaping but it's all you know cacti and succulents and stuff like that which I always think look really great in Oasis Springs it doesn't look too out of place but yeah after this we're basically done I'm just going to be finishing off with the landscaping the front I think and yeah that's going to be basically it for this build now I think I'm just going I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did give it a like a comment and subscribe if you're new and want to see more I post new videos five to six days a week so I will definitely see you guys tomorrow for another part of my 100 baby challenge as well as a gemstone apartment build so yeah i hope you guys are having a great day and i will talk to you all in my next video bye guys